week. Good morning, everybody. I'm Adam Bilsing, and this is the Oregon Drum Project, where we do daily deep dives into every aspect of playing the drums. Today is day 152, and our topic is inverted flam taps. That's right, inside out. If you'd like to practice along with me today, I'll be working some pages out of a book called Mastering the Tables of Time, specifically pages 32 through 40, and I'll be at 65 beats per minute, so let's get to work. So inverted flam taps. This exercise is kind of hidden away here on page 46, and uh, they're very, very difficult. They're giving me all kinds of trouble. So a normal flam tap, or a flam tap in like root position, we might call it, is flam tap, flam tap, flam tap, flam, right? So what ends up happening in each hand is a triple stroke with the first note in the triple stroke being the accented note. So that's a flam tap in root position, a very fun rudiment, kind of interesting, great way to work on your triple strokes. Now an inverted flam tap turns this all inside out. So we will go flam tap, flam tap, flam tap, flam. So all it did was turn around the sticking. So this time you go right hand flam, left hand left hand flam, right hand, right hand flam, left hand, left hand flam, right hand, etc. On and on. So what that has done is change the triple strokes in each hand. They are still triple strokes, but instead of going bap, 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 they now go boop, boop, bap, boop, boop, bap. So it's a whole different uh, set of mechanics in your hands. You're going from quiet strokes up to the accent and note. And it's been playing all kinds of heck with me today, both with my hands and with my brain. As I go through the exercise, at some point in the middle, I will just switch over to root position flam taps instead of inverted flam taps. And it's very hard to do. So I'm gonna show you the inverted flam tap exercise off of page 46 here. I'm at 65 beats per minute. Let's see what these crazy things look like. <laughs> I switched right back to root position when it got faster. That is really difficult. I switched to root position flam taps whenever I lost the handle and flat flams are everywhere in this thing right now because I'm not preparing the strokes the way that I should be. Flat flams happen when I'm trying to get a larger note to happen at the last minute and I uh, haven't prepared for it properly. Anyway, pretty tough. Tough stuff. Those are so hard. 
All right, that's going to do it for day 152 of the Oregon Drum Project. That's 152 days working towards my ultimate goal of ecstatic improvisation through technical mastery of the drum set, which just means that I want to freak out real good behind the drums. Special thanks, as always, to my video producer, Mr. Silas himself over at Red 11 Media. Also, shouts out today. Good morning, Levon. Also, shouts out today to Los Cabos Drumsticks. I'm playing the 7A Red Hickory models, the Evans Real Feel Practice Pad for feeling so real, and AKG microphones for making this all sound so nice. If you'd like to follow along and make sure you don't miss any episodes of the Oregon Drum Project, go ahead and like and subscribe below. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Dirty Bandana, over on Reddit, username Dirty Bandana Drums, and you can get all the details for everything about the Oregon Drum Project at dirtybandana.com including a merch store where you can buy cool drumming t-shirts and mugs to help support the project. That's it for today. We'll see you next time.